<laughs> Watching her piss isn't flirting. Are we live, man? Yeah. Welcome to episode number 29 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. Fuck, man. You went flare flare. Did you not set the camera up for two people? <laughs> oh, I had an outburst <laughs> and everything was fine. Yeah, it's, we've got a different setup. No, I just wanted to make sure you were okay there. It's my bad. We've okay. got a different setup today because we have a, two very special guests that will be coming on shortly. We have the Misfit Minds boys. They're sitting just off camera over there. And Matt doesn't have to sit in his fucking chair, you lucky fuck. We're going to have to do something about this because this is bullshit. This is not your chair. I feel sitting very there all smug, smug predator. <laughs> you. Do, you do upgrade soon. I feel yeah. like I have Next, a bit more confidence in tomorrow. My life. You look more suave. And There's suave. no depression today. Yeah, well, you'll be happy. You'll be pleased to know that our bachelor Brown has also pulled out this week. Oh yeah, she got Matt, she, she got she got friends. terrified because she found out what you are. She, she was heard the dog fucking dogs. terrified, and she's not coming on, and that's your fault. Maybe but don't she, worry. Next week we'll have one back, and of course. We're going to have our top three at the end of the season and no. bring them, invite them onto the show. Anyway, we got a jam packed episode. Like I said, Misfit Minds Boys, we got Lying to Lockie. We got a little bit to tell you about that. We're in a bit of a pickle. We got fucking No Bachelor Brown, but we got the screaming segment. We got Black Book. We got Prank Call at the end. It's fucking crazy, dude. We did some crazy science today. Holy, no, well, yesterday we did more crazy. Yesterday, oh, yeah. All, all those website members that are saying, like, Oh, we miss like the shit videos. Well, guess what? Your prayers have been answered because there is one hell of a shit video coming up where we try to stop, see if we can stop a human from shitting. Defeating defecation. Defeating defecation. Because think about it, Matt. If you don't have to shit, how much time are you going to save? Hours. Yeah, and it's just sometimes it's annoying having a shit. Oh, tell it's me shit about when it. When you got a shit. Tell me about it. Not to mention all the trees that get murdered. To yeah, wipe there's something ass. climate change in there as well. When I came home, there were clothes just out in the grass. What happened there? That was all. They, that was they, shit, shit part of shit video. Oh, okay. Then we did a video. Uh, do painkillers work? Mm. Again for the website because we obviously can't do fun shit like that on social media. And I got the worst bruise that I've ever gotten. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Uh, as you can see, it's on my right hamstring. That's day one. Yeah, That's this 24 is, this, hours. It's only of been contact. 24 hours. That means oh. that this thing will probably wrap around my whole leg. I hope so. You might lose a leg. Shh. <laughs> you don't say that, Brown. That's like, yeah, hexing shit. You can't do that. I'm just being positive. Um. So, yeah. But fucking some good shit coming out on the website. For the social media people, we did some shit. We tried to figure out if yeah, you really not, do. Not, not as plans. impressive. Not Because it's like. You got to yeah. be so PG on social media, but also like it, like, it didn't work as well as we were hoping. Yeah, but the science was James a bit off. has just got the courage of a lion. You know, James was leaping off of the roof onto some inflated mattresses, just landing on on oh, his belly. Did you try and do that idea. Yeah, that I sent you. Yeah, what idea? I sent the idea. Ah, yeah, yeah, that mattress. one. Oh, that's right. You, you inspired us. Oh, that's good. Well, Did it work? Yeah. No, not really, oh. Matt. Oh, hey, look, watch the video. There was some fun. We that needed was someone. Oh, one of these boys might have been good because they're a bit lighter. Oh, yeah. We're also fucking what, massive what do you, now. What do you guys weigh? Really? <laughs> oh, man. 50 would have been good. You actually need to put James on the mattress and you guys need to jump off the roof. No, no, no. no. He's, James, James is like a brick James house. was fearless. He was full, like, jumping up and, like, doing all this crazy shit. Yeah. We would have been, like, scared. But it's not going to launch you, though. You should have put Boz on there. No, yeah, it will come. Come on, that's animal cruelty. Yeah. So snap his little legs. Yeah, that's my bad. Fucking dog shit. Anyway, that's um, shit talk. What else happened this week? Nothing. We I just- copped a lot of um, you're a disgusting human, Matt Brown, from that website video. Which video? The oh, Brown the- Golf. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Out on the website. Man, a lot of uh, messages week. of is love, but... Up, like they're upset at the same time. Yeah, so <laughs> what Matt did was we all spat in a cup... Again, website content, obviously. And Matt had to gargle it, and he he did. With no, like, like reflex or emotion to it. It's just like it was a job that had to be done. <laughs> you and like, you went, it was one and then two. Like, very, it's brave. It's I just like to shit. S- see what my friends taste like. Yeah. Fucking emotionless, Matt Brown. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, all right. Let's get the fucking sponsor out of the fucking way. All right. Hey, oh, yeah. you. 
you sit down and listen to this shit, all right? You fucking ugly dog shit. You're a fucking piece of shit unless you listen to me. Go to manscaped.com, right? You look so... Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Go to Manscaped, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 to get 20% off. They got all sorts of shit, Matt, don't they? They got shower creams, they got ball creams, they got face creams, they got deodorant, they got shavers, they got ball shavers, they got shit that for your nose, you're, you're, you're a better person if you go there! All right, manscaped.com. If you don't go there, you are a cunt, and oh. that is a fact. If you aren't on Manscaped, you are a cunt. You are an animal. Women too can go there. All right, so women, you are also a cunt. If you don't go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual twenty, fuck you and fuck off. Yeah, it well, it's good. It's good to save money. And 20% is a lot, especially these times. It's recession going on. Mm. Climate change is a big, big deal. It's crazy. And, you, and you look like shit, I guarantee you. Yeah, yeah. And the, all these products save the environment, sort of. But it smells better. You don't have to if you don't want to. Anyway, right. manscaped.com. What's the code? Fully actual 20. And yeah, of course, it's optional. Yeah. Fuck you, though. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. And of course, we have a subscription website, the University of Markle, where we post a weekly video that we cannot post to social media. It's so beyond fucked, the shit that we do there. We have over 210 episodes now. Most of them go for like 30 to 40 minutes. And it's just got, it's just, it's fucking disgusting. Go on, sign up, 21 day free trial. See if you like the content. If it makes you laugh, you can then decide if we want to pay. So if you don't like it, you fuck off for free. So there's no risk to you. And My God, Matt. Spelling error in Markle. Yeah, but, that's but, a mistake. And there's it's just littered with mistakes. But like good mistakes. Oh, very, very good videos out there. Let me fucking tell you. Go and have a look. Links in the description. How many? Markle. How many? What? Videos. videos. I'd say 215 now. That's fucked up. We haven't missed a day of uploading in three years, cunt. I mean, a week. And they're like big, big clangs. Dude, they're two videos smooshed together. I've never seen them. Yeah, fuck you, Brown. And we, look, you have a palace now. We're going to start doing shit in yeah. your room while you're out concreting. No, 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 Filming no, it for no, the no, website. No, 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 we, we agreed. Okay, house That rules. was part of the policy. House <laughs> rules, house rules. <laughs> Should we go over yeah. the house rules with everyone? <laughs> no. No. Anyway, that's, that's the sponsors. All right. Now now you've already broken the house rules. <laughs> have you not? not ha rules are there to be broken, Brown. No rules. House rules. What are you, 17? Yes. Anyway, we're going to get on to um, up and coming YouTubers. All right. You may have heard of them. They do pranks. They do social experiments. They're fucking, they grow on, on YouTube very quickly. And you'll see why once you see their videos. It's the Misfits, Misfit Minds. Is it, how do you, what's the at exactly? Is it Misfit Minds? Misfit Minds. All right, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Get on Facebook. You should click, click. Very good, monetizable, dude. But way better than YouTube, you like know what? for money. Yeah. Anyway, let's get them on. Okay. You fucking go and sit over there, Brown. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get out of the way, Matt. Brown, you're in the middle. You're gonna be yeah. stuck. Give me that. Give me that. Very much. Ah, uh, cheers for having us. Oh shit! Oh, we got alcohol. Can you go? Yes, check brown, 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 brown. <laughs> anyway, boys, welcome onto the podcast. Cheers for coming on. Now, very much. there's, there's you guys. How, how old are you, boys? Twenty one. 21 yep. there you go so fresh and young I wish we started making we, we didn't start making videos till like 25 like we're, we were such fucking pieces of shit for so long yeah yeah well yeah we just sort of wasted a lot of time on, we did we wasted a lot of, of time shit, so. no 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 come on 21 you guys got your whole 20s it's just idiot. begun yeah this is our first time meeting the boys as well we've just literally started watching them on uh, social media and thought this is funny as fuck we could do some vids together and we'll get them on the podcast so boys how long has been doing the vids for uh we started on tiktok probably about two years ago just doing skits and stuff and then uh been doing youtube for about a year 
Oh, yeah. oh so you guys started doing sketches and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, kind wow. of like tradey yeah, sketches right. and that kind of found a niche. But um, YouTubing was always like what we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, I guess we were just kind of experimenting on different sorts of things, what to do. Yeah, fuck yeah. And and yeah. now what he's doing on YouTube, we, I've, the shit I've seen is just like the, the social experiments. Is yeah. that what he's doing now? Most all only social experiments. Yeah, pranks, vlogs. We try to like not niche down too hard into pranks, so we could do the odd, where it's just a vlog. The odd yeah. video, it's just a vlog, but yeah, yeah. no, nah, it gives more freedom. Yeah, I've seen you can like sort of uh, breaking into places and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are those your your best videos? What do you do? Explain to the people who haven't seen your vids. Wait, sorry, boys, this is serious shit. Jimmy Brings has just messaged. Yeah, yeah, he'll probably be a while still. <laughs> Fuck him. That is actually quite serious. What did he say? Um, he just said he's is arriving actually Jimmy now. Jimmy dropping it off? Yeah, yeah, Jimmy himself. He's so stressed now, though, because he has to drop it to everyone. Yeah, poor oh, bloke. His hair's falling He's out. a busy, busy boy. Yeah. Anyway. But, so fucking, yeah, so you're filming. You've got a van, I see. Yeah. So yeah. you guys sleeping in the van sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. We haven't for a while, but, like, we were, for a while, we were sleeping in the van. Um, doing is it family. fun like the journey you enjoy the journey it's actually, right it's sick yeah. do you guys have other jobs still or are you guys just full making vids now uh, we're trying to juggle it doing a bit of like DoorDash and Uber Eats oh, yeah. at the Dude, moment but it's exactly what we were doing yeah, yeah. amongst other things nah, you gotta find a way to make money <laughs> yeah exactly right sure. well, yeah, Ubering's fucking perfect for that right it is um, yeah just back to that, that video where, where did you guys break into exactly because you guys were successful in breaking into a few places yeah, yeah we uh, broke into the it. AFL grand final yeah um, that sort of put us on the map in the YouTube world yeah I think like got a lot of media attention I think we did it the year after you guys streaked yeah that's so much smarter because we got a lot of hate for what we did yeah we sort of disrupted a game unintentionally uh, but anyway it was first quarter yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we, they, they ball was down the other end when we ran on. Like that was that's full. It's a good goal. That's full legit. Like we were like we'll run. We even say in the intro of the video like we don't want to disrupt the game. We just want to like we didn't even mean to get on TV. We, yeah, we, we didn't, just wanted it, a good it wasn't video. Us. We weren't even on the field. Yeah, those were stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just fucking ran on, and then the adrenaline took over, and then I turn around and the fucking ball's like ten meters away. I'm like, holy fuck! <laughs> I just ruined our careers. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Anyway. Well, uh, yeah, so you've done, yeah, it's obviously the Gabba or whatever, the stadium, the grand final for the AFL. MCG, yep. right? Um, we did Optus Stadium because it was in Perth for one year. Yeah. And then it's probably never going to be there again. Because like, <laughs> <That's risk>. well, <laughs> we did it in Brizzy and everyone's like, oh, they'll never have it there again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, yeah. Did that, Um, we snuck into the Gabba for the Ashes. Oh, uh, yeah. And then what did we sneak? Couple festivals. Yeah, have you guys you've failed. Gone yeah, the the festivals as well. Yeah, it? have you guys failed at sneaking into shit as well? Nah, no. not yet. Really? Wow. So we're waiting for our first time. Our first. Dude, that's going to be so awkward. Do you remember it's we tried to fucking jump the fence into that? What was oh, that festival? A Post Malone concert. Yeah, Post Malone concert. And fucking so cringy when you get caught. Oh, yeah. 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 Shami was the only one that got in. Yeah. <laughs> he just ditched us all and just partied yeah. all night. Yeah, we went Ubering. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that was, yeah. <laughs> we went Ubering after we got caught. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, yes. So how long have you guys been uh, doing videos in total now? Oh, so two years ago? Two, two years. Right? Yeah, yeah, two years. And yeah. so what's the plan with it? Obviously you want to do it full time. Do you have like a, a like a like a bigger plan or is it just just be YouTubers, make videos at the moment? I suppose like the the plan is to kind of be our plan is to be like our like our dream is to be the biggest YouTube channel in Australia. Yeah. Not like by subscriber count, just by like following in terms of um like the brand you can build and yeah. everything. That's the dream, but um yeah, so that's like kind of what the plan is and also just as long as we're having fun. Yeah, very much. <laughs> yeah, start a wave of like hopefully YouTubing in Australia as well because we both feel like it's a pretty dry thing. Mm, yeah, in you're Australia. right. Yeah, it's been dead for the rest of the yeah. world. Well, you guys, that's why. Like, you guys, like, there hasn't been anyone doing what sort of like the in the prank, mm. doing the prank shit for years. And yeah, we're always just so, like, like, when's when's the next person coming? And here yeah. you are on hopefully. Facebook. There's a cheers, cheers. everybody. Cheers. Cheers. cheers, boys. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no that's the plan do all that yeah fuck it do you guys watch any find inspiration from any other YouTubers do you guys watch any I suppose like the you gotta like in terms of the OG pranks like Nelka up there like mm -hmm. we try to change up as much as we can but like yeah. in terms of 
they've got like the perfect blueprint in terms of yeah um and then there's all like a lot of upcoming um youtubers that we like watching where they're like loaf um canel joseph and stuff like that dude we oh loaf i was thought you were gonna fa- say lorf oh yeah lorf do you guys know l a h w f no i doubt it surely no, no. not so this like was andrew a, hales he was like he was like the og prank guy like social experiment guy like on youtube like the, one of the first like 10 years ago and that michael and i used from? to watch him he's from america oh, and he'd okay. just go to universities and just do real basic shit like yeah, yeah. walking next to people and then just start holding their hands and shit like that <laughs> Just real like basic shit and mm-hmm. just fucking blew up and then, yeah, that's who we used yeah, to Yeah, I watch. thought when you said loaf, I got excited, but. Nah, it can be loaf if you want. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. yeah, you guys should check We're so out. connected, like you guys are Misfit Mind, MM, Marty Mind. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? There's so many similarities. Yeah, you guys did the AFL final, we did the AFL final. The only difference is that we're just 10 years older than you cunts. No, yeah. 12 years older and he's like 30 years older than you guys. A lot yeah, taller Matt, as well. Matt Brown's very like 78 so or something. So old. You haven't, yeah, you haven't really aged that well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we are the same. Kind of similar looking in a way. Uh, yeah, well. exactly. Yeah. Long hair, short hair, short hair. This is your future boys. Fucking this is, drink it in. Cheap porn. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Imagine cause if- your mind goes there. <laughs> <laughs> Matt yeah. suggesting that it's some sort of porn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how'd you guys do the we saw the fucking the billboard we shine me that would have cost a bit right yeah emptied the bank account for that one yeah uh, i think it was like four grand yeah around um, four we've always kind of just all the money we've ever made from our account we've just spent it on videos yeah so that's like, a good way to be if we yeah. have a thousand dollars we'll spend a thousand dollars on a video yeah and i think we had four thousand so we just i think we even grand. had to go into your bank account for a little while of it like, yeah yeah but no that was very fun always yeah. to do something like that yeah, you got to do that. I've done that before. Oh, shut that, up. That yeah, that was don't, very you good. You don't have to fucking do it that bad. <laughs> no. Like, like literally, we could have had a house. I did, I did steal from you, yeah. Could have yeah. literally had a house, or at least <laughs> the, the beginning of a house anyway. They're not cheap at all. Like, no, and they're shit. Like, they're shit. Like, like, the, well, the ones where you got, because we got the digital ones that like, where it's just like the image, your ad, and then for like three seconds, and then boom, it's gone for like 20 seconds. Yeah. They're cycling through other ads. It's like- we didn't even know that. We thought we had the full thing. And yeah. Get oh, really? There, yeah. Through, so like, shit. Yeah. Like, no, like, and we saw no improve. Like, we I bought like thirteen billboards around Brisbane. Holy. Fuck. And like in some like pretty high densely populated areas, nothing. No, didn't no one fuck? Oh, we got some pictures. People would take photos and like DM them to us. So that was it. Yeah. Like no growth, no news. News didn't give a shit about it. It's fucking like what the fuck? Have you guys ever seen a dead body? <sighs> no, I haven't. What's no, the what's actually, the most no. what's the most fucked thing that's happened to you guys so far? It doesn't have to even be video related. What just in life? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's just oh, let's just, yeah. Let's just yeah. hear a fucked yeah. story. Oh god, a misfit mind story. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to think. Uh, sorry, I put you on the spot there. No, right, that's like it? it's got us on the spot, but there's like some fucked up shit, but like. What do you want to say? You know, are you, you gotta, are you going through your mind what you can and can't say? Yeah, like already like five things have hit me in the head, but it might you might catch a case after it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. not like in terms of fucking. <laughs> fuck, I'm a trying ca- to think. A case of AIDS. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I don't know. Video wise, like probably just getting in trouble. Really, yeah. have the cops been ringworming you? A couple times. Yeah, for the, for the grand final, um, like we'll. We got a. We we're like, how have we? It was crazy. We're sitting in the car, and we're like, how? Seb goes, you like, how have we like finessed like the cops? And as like he says that, we get a no caller ID, and they're like, where are? Never I? ever answer it. Oh, Never, oh. dude. But they said they're like, if you don't come to the police station tomorrow at twelve, we're coming to your house to arrest you. Yeah, because they wanted okay. to arrest us oh. under like suspicion of fraud or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and we were just like. And they're like, it's a very serious thing. And then we're like, fuck, we may as well go in there. As we went in there, they're like, we actually can't do anything to you. Oh, oh really? yeah. Just so you, scare tactics to yeah, make you feared. Yeah. They let us in. Like, we just asked when we snuck in, which was just a complete fluke by us. We're like, oh, can we use the lift? And the security guard was like, yeah, no worries. So that just got us like completely oh, off wow. the hook with it. Yeah. Oh, so they just got you in there, what? To say, well done. And then they sat us down and they started saying, you could have been terrorists and stuff like that. Oh my oh, god! Yeah, well, then it's their fucking fault. You, yeah. All you're doing you. is highlighting a weakness in their security. God, Matt. Yeah, shit! Literally. That's pissed me, Brown. It almost is like exactly what if we were terrorists and like yeah, exactly. Get in, but 
Yeah, like fix your own shit. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe exactly. we should. Like we should go and bomb a, the fucking AFL final this year. <laughs> like a fake bomb. We don't no, no, mean no, real no, bomb. Fuck it, man. Let's get. The, we'll <laughs> hire in some fertilizer and let's make a massive bomb each, and we'll go in there and see if we can fucking fuck shit up. That is not happening. <laughs> yeah, and by bomb we mean help. That's what we thought that meant. It's yeah. just it's in another language. It does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's How do people brain. react when it's a bomb goes <laughs> off next to them? Yeah, What's exactly. It'll be happen? safe. It'll aftermath? be like, yeah, we'll oh. do all the pyrotechnic shit. We'll, we'll stand in the like the uh, the alleyways. We won't sit directly next to someone. <laughs> We're not bombing anything. Sorry. <laughs> we won't do that. Oh yeah. Any oh, bad reactions right from social experiments yet? Yeah, we've had the, one of the first pranks we ever did because we started. So we're just doing skits, and then we snuck into the AFL grand final. And we kind of just got labelled as pranksters. So. We started doing like more prank videos. I was trying to buy things that don't exist. So we oh, went yeah. into a like a mechanics and was asking were well, asking for blinker fluid. And then they saw we were filming as like I was walking back to the car and there was like four of them and each one of them was like, Oh mate, you're gonna have to go have to talk to like Maddie. So I went to talk to Maddie and then he's like, You're gonna have to go talk to Brownie or whatever and like the hell were taking the piss out such of me. Good, oh, like, such a good such a great yeah. clip. It was like hilarious. And then we're driving off, they see the camera camera. And they actually got into one of the cars they were servicing. Fixing. It was like a BMW, like, like a hell nice car. Driving so crazy, like erratic across the road, like going on path, like literally driving like fucking crazy. They've like, been like the FBI. Yeah, well, there was one not, of their not like, FBI, like a stolen cars. car. Like, like they, they were trying to scare you. Well, no, no, they, they were chasing after us. And this was like dumbass. We drove like 100 meters down the road, <laughs> pulled and, like, over, turned the corner, pull over to watch the clip. Because we were just like, fuck, we wanted to see the clip yeah. so badly. And like, now we've learned our lesson. Like, get the fuck out of yeah, there. Then watch the clip. Don't shit where you eat. Um, and we're watching the clip and they fucking like pull up right next to us and just spray us and like say we've, that you're, we're hearing from their lawyers and we're going to go to court. And we're just like, wow, bro. What, for the blinker fucking, fluid thing? Yeah, like such a harmless video. Yeah, they were and they got so triggered. So you couldn't use the footage? No, we, we didn't use it. That we was, was so when we were annoying. very like, we were so naive, like pretty new, like, new to it we're still fucking new but like in terms of just we're like oh shit like that was our first kind of conflict we're like oh no like we can't post it wish we did um but usually like all the good stuff we just leave in there so yeah, yeah. do you guys go and ask people uh like be like oh we're filming so we used to do that but then like Shami and Jackson were just not. like yeah just like fuck it don't no don't one, worry no about it no one is ever really gonna let you. yeah and it doesn't affect their life like in, in one in a million chance it might like yeah. affect their life yeah you only ask it if they've like done something real whack yeah where they like, look fucked yeah. yeah I've had like we put on video like a chick offering me DMT and shit like that like when we were doing a video like <laughs> she's I in jail it, now she is yeah, <laughs> yeah she still writes to me but like she's got like a, what was it I was like, saying like band paper um, band paper straws like fuck the turtles yeah. um, and she said yeah fuck the paper straws walked off and then I was still standing there and she came up and she said you want some DMT and I was just like oh I'm not really looking for it she's like it's good shit and I was like nah I'm all good like oh, wow. that, that's that but that, apart from that nothing really yeah we had yeah. one guy this was like probably the most hectic prank we've ever done I was like reversing my car into a pole like asking someone to back me out and then just like tapping this pole like a shopping center oh yeah yeah and then Will would come in and be like oh what's happened and like instead of backing up the guy who was backing me up just back me up and he lost his shit and like got his keys out and was like I'll put this through your neck oh, so we like man. he was losing his shit we blurred his face fuck. out because we were like this is just too hectic oh, like, we don't want to embarrass so like, yeah, yeah yeah it's like fuck fuck yeah, but yeah our favourite prank you should have let him like stab yeah. him and <laughs> he would have been <laughs> so good thumbnail, like, that's what everyone wants these days yeah. anyway yeah, that's what yeah. our fans want yeah. <laughs> you guys should try it out so. <laughs> getting stabbed in the neck <laughs> our, our favourite prank is like a good example is uh, going to tradies and asking them to stop working so it's not as loud so we can live stream. Oh, yeah. Like the sort of one where we're looking like the idiots. Yeah, yeah. that's what we try to do. Yeah, um, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah you want to make so it's it's so, like just, taking the piss out of yourself exactly, more than yeah. them. Yeah, not the person. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah. The interaction happens, and you know, you you kind of hope that they, you know, go on their lunch break and we'll be like that fucking idiot telling us to be quiet so he can live stream in a Minecraft one like <laughs> yeah. they can laugh about it as well yeah and they, they can just be like how laugh. are you that fucked cunt yeah for sure yeah. for sure yeah. how, what about um? have you guys what do your parents think how's that gone down because you're only young so they're still like oh you know you got your whole life ahead like it's they, probably better being younger yeah like, yeah my yeah. mum was like yeah fuck are you doing I'm, I'm kind fucking, of I'm like the youngest of four kids so like 
I think the pe- it's just started to wear down and turn. Doesn't care as much. Yeah, they've like given up of, on you. Like yeah, it's like they've tried so hard with the first. I didn't three. really want to have this as the thing where I brought it up and everything but if you want to talk about it yeah like they've kind of given up on me um, <laughs> they actually nah. they, they passed away yeah <laughs> they've given up no nah, they um they kind of they're a bit more lenient and stuff like that in terms of and also I was just like I never really wanted to go to uni mm. um so that now nah, they're pretty like chilled with it all they're kind oh, of supporting as long as I'm having good fun I suppose yeah, yeah. Well, fuck, that's same awesome. as mine they've been super supportive yeah which is cool. sick because it'd be di- a different story if you know they were telling you not to do it and oh, stuff man, like, yeah you obviously want to make your parents proud and all yeah. that. Uh, what about your parents? Yeah, no, they, they've come <laughs> around. They're good. They, oh, just, no, they, well, you know, they, they're like, oh, well, you know, you, we're proud of you now that you've, now that we're making like a, a living out of it. I think it's yeah. like, especially with our side, it was a bit confronting because we're not just sort of going around doing pranks. We're like sort of hurting each other on live streams. Yeah, looking like we were sort of like we shouldn't. You know, and we made a like lot a of bad home, mental asylum. Or a lot something. of bad decisions, and we were like, you know in our late twenties, so much debt. Cause we got into so much long story, long yeah. story, so much debt. And it's just, just like our life. We're like, we were fucking just Ubering like 30 hours in like three days and, Fuck. and then just beating each other to a pulp for the rest of the week. Yeah. Yeah. It was anyway, but sorry. yeah. So um, our parents were like, yeah, we, I just stopped ta- talking to them. I just You're was like, like, don't just fucking. Yeah. They're also like very old fashioned in terms of like, if you say social media, they're just kind of like, yeah, you can't make a living. Like, I was like at a um, birthday dinner for like one of my grandparents like a month ago. And there was a lady there and she was like, oh, like, yeah, what are you doing at the moment? I told her and she's like, oh, you can't be doing that forever though. Like, yeah, you, yeah, well, you got to grow like up that? sometime. Yeah, you yeah. got to grow up sometime. Yeah. And so it happens all the time. I so how'd, yeah. you, how'd you boys meet? Did you guys go to school together? Went to school together and we're like pretty good friends from year eight onwards and did you guys ever do want to do like youtube back then no we used to fuck around a lot like i've actually got a clip on my phone i would have been in year nine i was working at hungry jacks and ended up quitting and they didn't give me the money back for my uniform and i like paid a bond for it and i was just like oh fuck it so like a year later i put the hungry jacks uniform on and actually went into hungry jacks like made myself chips and a soft serve and like got some chicken nuggets and walked out (laughs) she's like and we filmed it, but like never, we just never posted anything. We just, or really filmed anything. We just like do shit just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. nah, yeah, we kind of just, we were, fuck when we just decided, we always like, we always liked it. I kind of got onto the YouTube like train, like watching all the stuff, probably like at the start of high school. I wasn't like kind of before that. Um, and then, yeah, just got really into it. Yeah. And then we'll just, I was like, fuck, they've got a pretty cool life. They like YouTubers seem like they have a pretty good life. But yeah. yeah they do they well you know a lot of youtubers too they it's like part of the job is to like make your life look fucking incredible Glamorous. too yeah which is which is never, some, like you yeah, know it's not, it's a you really have, gross part of it we find yeah but yeah you got to do it though because you got to want people to want to have your life yeah that's yeah because it makes you more watchable whereas you know well like yeah if you look at our past dwellings <laughs> they're not like the most appealing places well yeah our first like viral videos michael was living in one of our mates just sheds in his garage so we just he just built a bed in this shed and we we're filming videos in there and she's all the comments are like what's fucking wrong with these guys why are they why are they living in sheds and all this <laughs> oh man shed after shed after shed and that, that's what i guess we we're just saying to you guys before like it's just gone paycheck to paycheck or earning enough money so you can do your next video or just yep. keep going week to week. Yeah. I guess at least you got a van that you can sleep in. Yeah, it's actually so nice. good. It's like, falling apart, but it's, it's like getting you from A to B though. Yeah. yeah how good nah, are vans? Good. Fuck it. Vans are perfect. like, yeah, once you have a van, you don't Have you done some else. nights together in there? Just like, oh, here we are. Like we, tra- we traveled around Australia in the van together. Yeah. Um, with another mate. So there's three of us in the van. Um, you can actually like put the front seats down so there's a single there and then the double at the back. Oh, sick! Yeah, okay, that works. Pretty good, but um, you definitely get a few raised eyebrows driving around with three blokes. Like, <laughs> yeah, in the middle <laughs> of summer, naked, not naked, but like wearing undies. <laughs> and shit in yeah, 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 no, nah. yeah. you know what? Um, let's see if we got any uh, fan questions too. I chucked some up on our story. Question for Misfit Minds: Why do they enjoy eating dog food of different flavors? Oh. That was actually pretty fucked up. Yeah, that was a foul. It's foul. What'd you guys do? I put some the, whack the, shit in the dog food. Like it's real. It's not good for humans. Nah, it can't it's be like, good. Did they put horse in dog food. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Yeah. Oh man, I used to feed Bosley, like, 
because you know we'd be so poor at the end of the day just be scratching up coins in the bottom of the car to go and buy a can of fucking dog food for him and he got he was so fat and so sick all the time and then as soon as we had a little bit of money now he just eats like a king and he's fucking hasn't been sick since so there must be some fucked like the jelly shit oh Oh, that's what we we were eating it's not good it's yeah don't don't really enjoy it that much. It's like I was putting oh, on man. a brave face. But yeah, yeah. The wet dog food, the texture is hard to stomach. You can do it if you fucking psych yourself up. Yeah. It's hard. It's We're like at a park, Thanks just chucking our guts up. Yes. People are just looking like, what are these guys doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, shit. So dog food, what's the best one? Uh, probably the lamb and lamb and rice. Yeah. yeah. That was it's Chris Brown nice. approved. Oh, yeah. yeah. Send them an invoice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <clears throat> Uh, question for Misfit Minds: Can you ask them what it's like being the biggest YouTube channel in Australia and no one even knows about them? <laughs> it's true. Um, want to answer that one? Fuck, it's pretty good. It is good. Yeah, yeah it's sick how that saying sort of became a thing. Like, yeah, because you guys are getting pretty big on like you, the engagement and shit, and the views you guys are getting for the channel your size. It's, it's, kind it's of, getting up there. We just we said it like on our. Third, lol, like second YouTube video, we just said we're the biggest YouTube channel in Australia when we had like 300 subscribers or like 500 subscribers. And then it's kind of just like just, we just kept keep saying it. Um, and like, so, yeah, that's about it, it's really. Catched on to the fans. Catched on. Now it's kind of just, yeah. It's like, a, it's like a saying. It's like us saying we're the best at the end of every podcast. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly right. Legit. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's do some what would you rathers and then we'll fucking. We'll do the lying to Lockie. Oh, we uh, filled the boys in on the lying to Lockie, um, yep. but we'll do some what would you rather's and then um, yeah, fucking and Matt, your your first up. What's a good what would you rather? He hates being put on the spot. Watch this. This will be so good. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Sorry about Brandon. I've got one. I've got one. Okay. Would you rather? Okay, you've got you have two kids in the future. Okay, if you don't do this, everyone dies. So oh, no. the first kid. Okay, one kid six, one kid's five. You first option is you kill your six year old. You've got to kill the six year old you yourself. Killing six year old. Hey? How are you killing him? Um, I'm gonna go with it's bludgeoned. Punch, a fork. Punch. punch. You, you gotta have to use a fork. <laughs> punch to death. Or you make the five year old and the six year old fight to death. So you either fuck up one child's life or kill one child, or you make two children your your kids fight to death so one dies and then you fuck up the other one psychologically because it's had to kill that other well, you choose brother. the first one then well, what a, the first one are you doing it in front of the six or five year old no, you get oh. to save that one's life show a bit of tough love I suppose so yeah you'd kill so you just so well, you, wouldn't you just choose the one life to ruin instead of two yeah so you, but you'd have to do it that's oh, hard I see, I see that's a yeah. tricky one that's a tricky one yeah. Uh, look, it is. A, that's a tricky one, Michael. All right. I'd probably let him fight. It's a bit fucking. I'd probably, yeah, yeah, at least you don't have to deal with it. Yeah, and you're like, you could probably twisted. get some content It'd out of it. It'd be hard to kill, like you know, especially your own kid. But like, it, I don't think a five year old would be able to kill a six year old. Well, just how, be, six well year yeah, no, you let them fight, child. and whoever wins yeah. wins. But, and then but, whichever one wins gets to live. But like, they wouldn't even be able to. They wouldn't even be able to kill each other unless you gave them be a weapon. Yeah, it's like a three month process. Give them like a potato peeler each. Yeah, see what happens. A little knife Oof, or something. I'd be quite great thumbnail and title. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a great video idea. Yeah, anyway. there you go. That's my one. I'm out. All right, would you guys rather fuck a goat, but nobody knows you fucked a goat, or everybody thinks you fucked a goat, but you haven't actually fucked a goat? I'd probably fuck a goat. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. I think I'd probably have to do like, it. You just turn the lights off. Like, I'd oh. tell my close like friends. Though. I'd be like, dude, like I'd, 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 no, I'd fuck someone. the goat and tell everyone that I fucked the goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you do it like on a boys' night, it's all right. It's funny. Have <laughs> you heard about that story? <laughs> this is <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Apparently, this like team, right? This famous. Yeah, it's a Mad Monday AFL team. I don't know. They might have been like. I don't know if they're like pro AFL or if they're recently, like, like the couple yeah, weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, recently, yeah, and yeah. They were sucking the boys sucking each other the, off. Yeah. The for jokes like that is commitment Weird. to he's a vice, joke. The guy who sucked the captain's dick, he's vice captain next year. <laughs> he is, he is, yeah. Fucking his way to the top, Matt Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but holy shit, that, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably fuck the goat. Mm. Would yeah. you rather uh, bite all of your fingers off? You have to bite them all off. You've only got an hour to do it. Or would you rather 
punch your mum once in the head, but you can never explain to her why you did it. <laughs> oh, dude, he'd ruin your relationship with like. It might. It, you might be able to come back. <laughs> you might be able to come back from that. It depends what your relationship with your mum. Like you could to say, be honest. I yeah. think I would maybe. <sighs> I'd probably punch my mum because is it a clean hit? It, yeah, where yeah, yeah. It has to be a dog shot. It has to be a well, dog. I don't shot. want like. Sh- sh- yeah. Oh, I'd tell her later in life that look, it was that, or I bite my fingers off. Like no, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. Otherwise- okay, no. Nah, well, yeah. Fuck it. I just tell her in heaven when we die eventually. Or wherever we go, I'd be like, Mom, I'm sorry I had to do that. It's just so cringe. It's so embarrassing punching your mom and then not being able to say why. The Dad would get mad. like a pretty bad torture method, so I wouldn't want to do that to myself. Yeah, it would be Neither so Neither would I want hard. to do it to my mom, but... Mom can my take a hit. has got a coconut as a head. I reckon mom could take a hit. She's got a strong chin. Yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd probably... Uh, yeah, I'd have to do mum too, but... I'd hate to do it. You just say that you had like a like a anxiety a attack, or attack yeah, or some yeah. shit. Oh, I just I freaked out. Blame like, it on depression or something. Yeah, yeah. Yes. On, on on environment. I'm blaming <laughs> yeah. on the environment. Say it's climate, climate change. change. Climate change. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, I'd hit mum too. Yeah. Sorry, right. mum. Sorry. What about um? Would you rather sit on a cake and eat dick, or sit on a dick and eat cake? That's a classic. That's. that's I'd probably sit on a cake and eat. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably rather suck a dick than have a dick in me. But it's like, a bit more violating. I don't know if this is you're having a cake. If you're sitting on it, you're not tasting it, and you're also tasting a dick. What about? Yeah, I don't know. That's a hard. I'd probably go, but then I'd probably still could, suck it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd suck that, and I'd probably do like a pretty good job because I'd know you, the alternative. Do you ha- wait, do you have to suck? Does it come in you, and do you have to make it come? Fuck that really changes things. Yeah, see that's is then it's hard work with the if the it's head. just oh, uh, if it's just one squat finish. on cock like, what it's sort of easy. Job are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like but then like you could have to squat for a while and it could be really annoying. Yeah, squatting hurt. is harder than than just sucking. Yeah, I'd probably just True. go to another place and just put some headphones on and just fucking. <laughs> no, get it no done. headphones. Where are the headphones. Oh, you can't have headphones. No right. headphones. You'd nothing. have to just channel like a spot in your mind where it's silent. I'd hum, like, I'd hum loudly mm, a song. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably feel good too if a girl's humming a song. Oh wow, yeah, it might make it go, make, make it come quicker. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll give that a little clap, eh? <laughs> All right, guys. Now we're moving on to lying to Lockie. As you know, this has turned into the greatest segment of the entire podcast. We've been able to lie to that fucking cunt. Like six weeks in a row now. He has no fucking idea. Well, today, Michael and I had our first taste of failure. We called him. We wanted to surprise attack him during the day because he knows to expect a lie Wednesday night or Thursday night. He knows to expect it. So we got Isla to call him during the day and we wanted Isla to say, oh, Jax, their dog, is is really sick. He's throwing up blood. And she had us on loudspeaker and we are filming it which we'll cut to after I finish explaining this. But she, fucking Lockie called it. He's like, no, you're lying. Because Isla f- smiled. Yeah, don't smirk, Isla. That is not good. But still, Matt Brown yeah. loves you. Yeah, because first he was like, he, yeah, Isla was like, oh, he's throwing up blood. And Lockie's like, oh, really? Yeah, we should have came silence. in then and go, ah, oh, we got you. We could have got him then. You'll hear in the clip. And then there was silence for a second. And then he goes, no, you're lying. So Isla's obviously been sitting there and then just started smiling. It's like, of course he's going to know you're lying, Isla. <clears throat> All right, guys. Um, we're doing the... That's okay. <clears throat> we're doing the lying to Lockie segment during the day because Lockie's on to us at night. So on the phone right now, we have Isla and she's with Lockie, like at the same house. She's going to now leave her phone on loudspeaker, walk out to Lockie and say that Jax, their dog, is really, really sick. And then we'll be able to hear on, on the loudspeaker if Lockie believes it and then we come in and just fucking tell him he's a fucking idiot for believing the lie. I reckon you say that he's been vomiting um, and he's he's got to go to the vet. Sean's taking him, your dad, to the vet. No, no, Sean's asked if one of you guys can take him because he's got to do something. He's got an appointment somewhere else. I'm going now. Okay, we'll be quiet. Hey, Lockie. Jack just called me. Huh? He just called me and Jack is really sick. He's like vomiting and stuff like blood. Oh, really? 
Oh, I let you smile. Well, he did technically say, "Oh, really?" Yeah, and that means we had him for like a split moment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was. Uh, I don't know if he got me. Oh fuck! No, I think he got us then. Fuck. Okay. That's so shit. All right, Lucky. Look, we're like we're glad that you're not trusting anymore. Like you don't trust anything anyone tells you anymore. So that's good. But we'll have to step it up. You win this round. Okay. You win this. That, that, that pissed me off. It's six six one to us. Yeah. Wait, were were they together? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we together. got that in person because we when, the calls he expects now. As soon as he hears something sus, he's like, "So the task at hand today, it's enormous. What we're gonna go? What we're the what we're relying on right <laughs> now is we're gonna say that Isla was a decoy, and we told Isla to smile. We did. We well, I'm gonna yeah, his decoy. Did we? Yes. Okay. I like it. So what we're gonna get one of the boys to do? We they're gonna call Lockie, all right? And uh, they're gonna say that they're like, oh hey, um, I emailed you um, a couple of months ago about an NFT project we've got going. And what's a good name for an NFT project here? Uh, I reckon Starlight. 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 That's great. Great. All right, Starlight. Yeah, the Starlight NFT project. Um. You, you replied and said um, you and Jackson might be interested in, in promoting it. Do you and understand? say it's for charity or something. No, I don't say it's for charity. That's, uh, oh, that's always good. Guilt trip him. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is good, but it might not be good. Yeah. Because he might be like, oh. yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. But no, no, that's, he'd be like, yeah, it's not, yeah, no. He'd be like, he'd, he'd say, let's I change it to Delta. Charity, fuck you. That's what he'd say. Oh, wait, let, hang up. let's change it to Eclipse. Eclipse NFTs. Eclipse, right, Eclipse NFTs. That, sound, that just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, that's yeah. like, yeah, I kind of want to get involved with that. Yeah, so, it's what a do, space. so what are it's we saying? Space. We're saying... Saying, hey, mate, I emailed you a couple of months ago about an NFT project um, uh, and was wondering if you and Jackson would be interested in promoting our launch. Um, we've got big money for the marketing budget and... Okay, let's just do it now. I'm lucky. You're you. Yep. Pretend it ring, ring... Ring, ring. Oh, hi, this is Lucky. Yeah, g'day. This is uh, Nick Chadson from Eclipse NFTs. How are you going today, mate? Oh, sorry, Eclipse NFTs. Yeah, what, what's that mean? Like- yeah, yeah, sorry, mate. I've probably caught you at a wrong time. It's a bit late at night. But um, I was just calling to say a few months ago, I uh, flicked you guys an email about maybe you guys be would be keen to hop on board. I know. That. I know that email. Yes, yep. yes. Well, I was just yep. wondering. Yeah, we'll we do it. You yeah, we're going to do it. You're being lied to, Lucky. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, we're good. We This is going to work. This is going to work. Let's call Was him. that good? Was that? Yeah. yeah, no, no. You've got a good voice for it. He's yeah. got the, cl- the classic Australian You sold me. Voice. I didn't even know that I'd done that, and I thought I did. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to text him, and we're like, oh, hey, mate, it's Mick Han- uh, Hanley here. So sorry about the late call. Um, just things are getting a little, um, uh, well, I emailed you about, um, the, the NFT project a couple of months ago. Um, if you got a free five minutes, just give me a, give give me a quick buzz, mate. There's a pretty big opportunity come up. Yeah. That's good. Short and sweet with it. All right. So have a read of that just so you're familiar with our story. And then, um, I guess we play the waiting game, Matt Brown. That's your favorite game. And lucky we got alcohol. That's your favorite game. You love playing that fucking game. I got a question, fellas. How do you get away with those brand deals? With just saying whatever you want. Oh, oh yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I that think was Man- incredible. Yeah, Manscapes just like they they just know who we are now, and and they just they accept it, and and it, yeah, it's fucking I think, yeah. Our fans have been and, very beautiful to actually use the code, and also, also they're using it. Too. Well, That's and, and the, you know, we get told all the time it's the only brand deal that we sit through. Yeah, because it's just. Some it's abuse. honest. It's well, just it's funny. Uh, we it were was... pissing ourselves at like some of the ones you've done. Like it's yeah, yeah. Crazy. but it's real as well. As we had a um, like we got a little brand deal with TikTok, so we had to make a TikTok for TikTok, right? So we make it, send it to them, they approve it, we post it, and it gets taken down by mm-hmm. TikTok, and then they're like, "You have to make this again." 
and it's just like it, it's it's your app like what do you mean <laughs> what the they, fuck they really? approved it yeah and then they said community guidelines oh dude yeah we've TikTok changed. is TikTok is rough for us we, look, we've had we've put up prank calls and they've removed them for um for sexual <laughs> like se- or, or dangerous activity and shit like that I'm just like what the fuck TikTok and then you appeal and then the appeal is like no no yeah we were right to remove you this. actually are playing with someone's mind like it's, uh, yeah. it's a bit fucked yeah, up yeah I guess I guess but dangerous behaviour and, and, and you like with the we are cupcaking each other and that got age restricted like on YouTube broking. for sexual content <laughs> It's like, how is that fucking sexual? Oh, man. It's, it's getting worse it's getting and worse. So Dude, so back wait. in the day, like even like four years ago, fuck, it was good. You just post whatever the hell you want. Yeah. It just seems so hypocritical as well. Like that'll be sexual content, but then they'll be like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think. It's like yeah. fucking. Nothing. Yeah. I know what you mean, dude. Yeah. I don't it's think crazy. that we'll ever be uh, favored on the big platforms. Hence the website. Yeah. The university. Check it out. <clears throat> but anyway, boys, thanks heaps for coming on. Um, everyone, check out their content. Misfit Minds on all platforms. It's fucking gold. And watch this space. I reckon they'll be the next, they'll be the next Charmy times 10 cunt. Thank you, fellas. Times Thank fucking you very 10 much cunt. for having us. Um, we do have your phone still connected to Bluetooth. So if Lockie does reply or call you, Matt, you fucking move immediately. You get off the couch and fuck off. And we'll get the boys back on and we'll con- and we will try to conduct this line to Lockie. Yeah, it will happen. All right, boys. It's been an thanks absolute pleasure. No, it's fucking hard. thanks for coming on, boys. Fucking legends. Thank you. Give him a clap. Give him a clap. All right. Cheers for having us. Let's have a um let's have a quick fucking massive oh, yeah. bong break. Oh yeah! And then we'll get back with On This Day, Matt's Black Book and Michael's fucking Bible. And we're back. (laughs) All right, guys, as promised, it's now time for Michael's Bible. And Michael's Bible is where he has put all of his wisdom down on paper. And um, he's pretty much, it's God level wisdom, Matt Brown. Sorry. You live by it. I live by it. And it's changed our lives. Refer to him as Beezus as he reads. Michael's Bible. Shut up. I live by it. I live by it. I live by it. Mm. Okay, Gryffindor. All right. okay. Fuck me, I've been a bit clang 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 clang. You've had a fucking couple of fucking fuck lily. Yeah, that was a flele. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this isn't even a chapter. This is just fucking thoughts. This is thoughts from the Bible. This is like the appendix in the Bible. Oh, sorry. Cape York be high and Cape Down be low. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna try that again. Fuck. Cape York be high and Cape Town be low. I can hear with my ears and smell with my nose. A find can be found if a care can be cared. I can see with my eyes, watch as I stare. Cape York be high, Cape Town be low. I can hear with my ears. I can smell with my nose. A find can be found if a care can be cared. I can see with my eyes. Watch as I stare. Cape York be high (laughs) and Cape Town be low. I can hear with my ears. I can smell with my nose. A find can be found if a care can be cared. I can see with my eyes, watch as I stare. Sorry. Wow. That's poem. That's, that's turning into poetry. Now, you might be thinking, why did he say it three times? Yeah, we are all thinking that. But why not say it three times? That's so true. I never thought about it from that angle or perspective. You know like how that. in songs sometimes in the in the chorus, they repeat the same word over yeah, and over? Yeah, 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 yep. That's what I did, but in long form. So like, fuck. Well, thank you. That's fine. Um. Anyway. Sorry. 
Uh, moving on to On This Day. Um, and On This Day is a segment where Matt has researched a day in history where something spectacular has happened. On this day, like, but years ago. Does that make sense? Matt, and is he quite proud of this one. Yeah. All right. That's exciting. He's never admitted to being proud of one. Let's see what it says, hey? I'm listening. On this day in 1966, a wild eagle snatched a baby straight out of its mother's arms while she was breastfeeding. It was me. I was that wild eagle back in 1966. I snatched the baby and took it to my nest. There I shredded the baby with my strong, sharp talons and fed it to my chicks. I would right now love to take this opportunity to apologize to that mother for my actions. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to stand up and publicly say sorry to this mother. And if I don't, that means that I hate women. Yes, that's right. If I don't stand up and apologize right now, that means that I've developed a deep, deep hatred for women. Be a man, Matt. Oh, well, surely he's going to apologize. It's time for Brown Book. Are you saying that you hate women, Matt? Because that's kind of what it sounds like you're saying. There's only one woman for me. Are you saying sorry? Isla? That woman is Isla. Oh, my God. So you're not apologizing, just to be clear? No. Wow. So he ha Matt hates women. Someone, someone <laughs> screen record this. Matt Brown <laughs> hates women. Screen record it and send it to him. He and said it himself. Him with it. Send it to your mother. No. All right. Mum is innocent, always. So you've, you've, man, Matt, you confuse the shit out of me sometimes, man. Well, anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Oh, hang on. I just found a die entry from um, me. Ooh. Diary entry number 36,785. <laughs> Today, I went on our annual grocery shop with mum. Mum brought 20 packets of noodles and two bags of sugar. Zucker noodle is our main meal. We also bought dried fruit, rice, candles, and ice cubes for dessert. Mum says ice cubes with sugar sprinkled on is the same as ice cream. I asked mum for a chocolate and she grabbed my wrist really hard and said no. Then she pushed my face hard and I stumbled back into a shelf. My long neck slung into canned foods and a few of the coal staff laughed at me. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> oh my God. They had coals back then? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Coles has been around for a long oh, time. Man. Yeah, dude, Coles has been around for ages, even oh. when I was alive. I think, yeah. Dude, and it's serious. Like, you, you used to have sugar and noodles as your meal. Yeah, the more I think about that, the more I'm like, what the fuck is going that on? That is insane. Uh, you know what makes me think? I don't even know if I should say this because it's sort of pointing out some parenting flaws. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it maybe it describes but look let, let's just pretend it's a hypothetical all right with the lunches we make for esther are like so, there's so much variety we put so much effort in it's like they roll like up 10 different really delicious healthy things every day and then i think back to my lunches i mean this p hypothetical person's lunches and i'm like what the fuck just what, nutella, what were you getting for lunch nutella and butter on bread that's it <laughs> that was the only thing in my lunchbox maybe it's just like a German two thing. slices of bread smushed together and i remember s s like kids be like like what the fuck is that <laughs> yeah yeah I, I would always and then leave I'd come my home. sandwiches behind like i'd mum would come home I, I haven't even eaten my sandwich because i've got all the good shit you've got the dunkaroos you've oh, got the roll-ups yeah. you've got the tiny teddies oh you've got like just a bag of chips that you throw in the bin because you can't be fucked yeah, eating little them. bags of chips <sighs> dude i'd throw my sandwiches at the kid that only had a sandwich because that's I had me i was stuff. that kid yeah <laughs> that's so far and then i come home and be like hypothetically why well like how come i don't have any variety i'm like and you know hypothetically <laughs> be like oh yeah we can get you we can get you some more stuff yeah no worries and then it just never happened <laughs> such a dark job yeah yeah well that's it's a german it's something about germany oh. it's just i'm just saying that well in this hypothetical you're yeah just it's a german that you're assuming it's, that it's german and that's racist <laughs> <laughs> well, hey i th i have a feeling about it <laughs> Anyway. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes, anyway. it's time. On to the Shit. darkest, most demonic segment. 
of all podcasts in all of the world. It's time for Matt Brown's, that, that man, that man right there. It's time for his black book where he has compiled a list of all of the sexual experiences that he has had throughout his entire life. They are fucked. It is graphic. It is fucked. So get ready because you'll never hear nothing like this ever before, cunt. Recap. So as you might remember last episode... Matt, um, he had demon powers, he fought Satan, and he actually ended up uh, having Satan. So you became Satan, didn't you, Matt, at the end of that? so Lucifer himself. So that's where we are at, all right? <sighs> and he fucked a kid whale, which is fucked. <laughs> uh, Matt, That was like four episodes ago. And you're hanging like, on just, it. It's a key point. For me. All right, so Matt... And yeah. Pinocchio's dead. So Matt is Self-suicide. Satan right now. <clears throat> Sorry. I look down at my body and I'm a light shade of red. I suddenly have long, sharp fingernails. I feel a tail extend from above my ass. I felt more powerful than ever. Julian and I stare at each other in disbelief. You did it, Matt. You're Satan now. You're the ruler of hell. We did it, Julian. If you didn't save me from Stephen Hawking's, I would be dead now. I see tears rolling down my sweet Julian's face. I'm overwhelmed with emotion and I stride towards him. Julian runs and we embrace each other. We kiss passionately and we're both crying. I sucked on Julian's bottom lip and then pressed my tongue into his mouth. Our tongues wrestled and our mouths mushed together. It was the most beautiful moment I had ever experienced. I truly did love Julian with my whole heart. We stopped kissing, kissing briefly to stare at each other's eyes. We both still had our arms wrapped around each other and the tips of our noses were touching as we wept with pure happiness. I thought I was going to lose you, Matty. Stop, stop, Julian. I'm, I'm safe now. We can finally be together. Our mouths connect again and our movements start becoming more firm and sexual. With both hands, I grab Julian's ass cheeks and lift him off the ground. He wraps his legs around me and starts sucking my neck. Oh my god, Julian. Don't stop. Oh, don't ever stop. Uh, Have me, Maddie. Have me as hard as you can. We become frantic and remove our clothes. Wait, Julian. I don't think I should have you. I think you should have me. But if I have you, then I become Satan. Exactly. I'm not made for hell. You are. You're perfect for down here. I belong up on earth. You want me to be Satan? For real? As long as you send me back to earth. Maddie. but then I won't get to see you. You can come and visit and take on a human form. Maddie. that's crazy. I've got it all figured out, Julian. I go up to earth and get a human job. I don't know what yet, but I think I could use my mints to make concrete or something and then sell it. Then you come up when you aren't ruling hell and you could also get a human job. I'm thinking maybe like a doctor or a president. Nah, fuck that. I'll just sell drugs or some shit. No, no, no. I'll make videos and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make vids. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> then we make human friends at our jobs and get our human friends to become friends. That way we slowly come back into, into each other's lives and no one will ever suspect a thing. <laughs> Eventually we can be together every day again, but on earth. That is fucking crazy, Maddie. But I'd do anything for you. Fuck it. Let's do it. I immediately drop to my knees and grab the base of Julian's cock. I tease him a little and touch the tip with my tongue. Then, just as I wrap my warm lips around Julian's cock, what the fuck is this? Hitler was standing there, looking completely confused. Surely you did not forget our deal, Mr. Brown. I had promised Hitler to let him have me in exchange for the information of how to become a demon to defeat Satan. Hitler, circumstances have changed. You can have your have, but I have to let Julian have me first. And let Julian become Satan? I don't think so, Mr. Brown. 
Why do you think I made this deal with you to begin with? Because I, if you did happen to defeat Satan, then I would be able to have you, making me Satan. Becoming Satan was my plan all along. You dirty German bastard! The deal is off. I'm Satan. Suck shit. Now get out of here before I kill you. A sly smile crept over Hitler's face. I had a feeling you might become greedy, Mr. Brown. But there is something you don't know about me. I, too, am a demon. I, too, am very powerful. I have been secretly training for this last 60 years for this moment. Hitler lunges at me in a shocking speed. His knee drives straight into my chest and I hear some of my ribs break as I fly backwards. Hitler advances again and I step out of the way and King hit Hitler in the side of the head. He stumbles but remains standing. Let's fucking get him, Matty! Stay out of this, Julian! He's incredibly strong! No, 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 fuck that! If you fuck with Matty, you fuck with me! Julian sprints at Hitler. Julian! No! Hitler ducks Julian's wild haymaker and throws an almighty uppercut. It connects with Julian's chin and sends him flying. He slams into the ceiling and falls back down to the next to Hitler. I div- didn't even have time to react before Hitler started stomping Julian. I heard Julian's ribcage crack and splinter with every stomp. I begin running at Hitler, but before I could reach him, Hitler punched straight down at Julian and his fist exploded through Julian's chest. I land a flying kick into Hitler and he skids across the room. Julian! Julian is a mangled mess. There's blood pouring from his mouth. He's clearly dying. Uh, Maddie, I uh, uh, will always love you, cunt. I stroke Julian's cheek as I sob. <laughs> no, Julian, please. I can't do this without you, Julian. No! No, please! No! <laughs> I watch Julian fall unconscious, and my despair quickly turns to rage, and I look up. Hitler had just taken the only thing that mattered in my life. (laughs) I'm gonna fucking kill you, Hitler. (laughs) Okay, Mr. Brown, I've heard it all before. Before he even finishes his sentence, I'm above him. I bomb dive onto his skull and we fall to the ground together. I'd never felt such rage. I take top position on Hitler, making fists with my hands and erratically start raining down bombs on Hitler. His face looks shocked at my newfound strength. Hitler tries to block my strikes with his arms, but my powerful blows strings swing straight through his defense and slam into his face, blow after blow, and Hitler can do nothing. This is for Julian! I start swinging harder and faster. Hitler has stopped blocking my fists and is just slamming straight into his head now. He's unconscious, but I keep banging. I punch and punch and punch until his head is nothing but a pile of mush. Then I drag my cock and balls through the mush and piss and shit on it. He is dead. My rage subsides and my mind turns back to Julian. I fly over to him, expecting him to be dead. Then, what's this? His chest slowly rises and falls. Julian is clinging to life. Julian! Hang in there! An idea hits me. If Julian has me and becomes Satan, his Satan powers should automatically heal him. I get to work and squat over his crotch. I grab his flaccid cock and start smooshing it up my ass. I even thumb his balls in. Then carefully, I start bouncing up and down and feel Julian's cock swell slightly. Yes, that's it, Julian! I start riding him slowly, rolling my hips forwards and backwards while squeezing my asshole around him to make sure his flaccid cock didn't fall out of my ass. I feel his cock inflate a bit more, then more. He had a semi now. I ride like I've never ridden before. I press down on him to push him deeper inside of me. Yes, that's it, Julian. Come for me, baby. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Julian's bloody face starts to stir and move. He was regaining consciousness. I'm now fully bouncing up and down on Julian like a drunk schoolie slut. He's fully erect. Then his eyes shoot open suddenly. Oh, I'm coming. Yes, Julian. I feel his warm, milky juju juice flood my anal cavity. Then I feel my powers leaving me. They transfer to Julian as he finishes filling my colon. I get off of Julian and I'm back to normal Matt Brown without any powers. Julian's wounds start to heal and I see horns grow on his head. Eddie, he saved me and I'm Satan now. Anything for you, Julian? Now, send me back to Earth. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, wait, that wait, is wait, the wait. End of hell. You killed Hitler for Julian. 
Is that what you're saying, man? For Julian. That's what you, you that's what you personally wrote in that book. <laughs> that's I'm, fucking good comeback. That's a good revenge thing for Julian. Are you Dude. shocked that I met Julian before I met you? Leon. Well, we, well, we yeah, didn't know about it. Considering the circumstances. That's like, yeah, so you're back from like ancient scriptures. Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, wow. That was cool. Wow. Okay. Well, that seems like it's the end of the hell um, saga. So I guess it's just back to normal fucking now, right? Yeah. Julian was over here last night. Why are you saying that to me? He delivered me some chips. Julian. Julian. So it works. Their plan has worked. This is your plan all along. Because mm. you and Julian love each other. Julian. Julian. Anyway, moving right along. It's time for the fucking screaming segment. How long have those cameras been rolling for? So long. long. Probably like our... Yeah, we've got to keep 50. an eye on the battery because the fucking... Well, they're not used to flele clale clululua. Anyway, screaming segment. This is a segment where we call a random fucking business and I scream as long and hard as I can. If they make it to 60 seconds without hanging up, then we tell them that they've won. What was the business last week? I forget. It doesn't right. matter. I, I predict that. 32 seconds. I'm going to go 28. Boys, you care to have a guess at this? How long do you reckon they'll last before hanging up? 22? Seconds. All right, I'm going to say... I'm going to... They close at nine. I'm going to say, yeah, 45 seconds. I feel like they'll hang on for a while. Get ready for loud sound. Hello, my Can I have you? <laughs> Five seconds. Oh my god! Oh my I really god. wanted they almost made that Dude, one round win because they were one talking minute. back. I really wanted it to them to make it. Then I'd be like, "Oh, sorry about that. Can I just get a massage, please?" Fuck! Oh, dude, what wow. happened? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what's wrong? Saying, what happened? What happened? She's trying to talk to us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, put it on private? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we time. And maybe bong break. All right, let's have you bong break. Oh. And we're back. All right, we're going to do the comment of the week first. And the co oh shit, we forgot to tell everyone we're running a comment competition. You guys know this. Okay, you, the more times you comment, the more chances you have of winning. We're just going to pick a random comment on the season finale, and that person will get $1,000. And this is comment of the week, where Matt Brown has taken it upon himself to choose what he thinks is the best comment from last week's episode. And that person is also in the running for $1,000. So if Matt's in charge of someone's financial future here, you could win $1,000. So if you want, maybe offer him a bribe or something, yeah, and he will choose your comment. Give me a have, we could go 50-50. Yeah, so it's exciting. All right, what's the comment of the week from last week's episode, Matt Brown? It went to Young Shag oh, Official. no. And his comment was, I love when Matt said he heard a noise and sprinted down the hallway to see what it was. That is so brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is quite brown. That you heard a slight noise and sprint oh, towards it. It's fucking terrifying sometimes here. There was like a full on gang fight upstairs during the storm last night. What? So well, there's animals, animals in the house. Oh, or yeah. humans. I don't know. Um, and then Julian showed up and it mysteriously stopped and I went to blame him, but they realized he was in a, in a foot brace, so... He can't. Climb. He couldn't get up there. 
I remember though moving into the house I live in right now. The first like month or two, I was yeah, you gotta like, get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, nervous to go, and yeah, I felt like real exposed and shit. Mm. Yeah, outside's a little bit. Anyway, sorry. Talk. So anyway, now questions time, guys. Where we answer the questions that you guys comment on the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the ones that you want us to fucking answer. If you do, we don't answer your question this week, we'll probably answer it eventually. So keep fuck off. All right. Oh fuck. No, oh, no. Oh, oh man. Sake, man. Oh no. So over that, eh? Wow. So- All right. Uh, uh, top question went to Ward. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the worst your neighbours have reacted? They must have rang the police or suspected torture at least once. Oh, well, we've spoken this is about this. Claire Fish Claire. We've, we've, we've said we've Claire. Had, we, we've had a neighbour pull a knife, pull something to go to stab. That's how bad shit has gone. All that right. Inspired me. Uh, next question is from um, Maddie. Um, have you guys ever been close to ending your main channel? And if so, why? No, we've never been close. It's been close to being ended because when we've had two strikes, that's terrifying. Yeah, it's social media. It's very risque. But we've never been like, oh, let's delete it. No, no way. Because it's like, that's what you work for to build audiences on these platforms. So I want you to fuck off. So. <laughs> So, uh, uh, next question is from oh it's a big name so I'm just going to say Lou um, racist pig <laughs> alright I'll have a crack at it Louis Kilarang Bogomari you just made it way worse that's why well, I have such an Australian accent for it Lou. Louis Kilarang Bogomari yeah see alright um, the question from the podcast is if the brown doesn't find love on the bachelor of land what are you guys going to do or what's going to happen to him we'll probably have to we, we, I reckon you have to it's like a sacrifice Sacrificial thing You lose like Part of your body A limb Or a finger at Michael's least. floating that idea by us like, no, no one else has Agreed to that But we have sort of Settled on some other ideas Where you maybe Marry an animal A goat or a pig um, We're thinking And Would you, you fuck a, Like a You don't animal? have a choice No You wouldn't fuck an animal Matt I find that hard to believe Maybe Bosley That's If we it. actually No okay This is beside the point But it's sort of the same thing you're going to get an animal for the property. Chicken, llama, yeah. goat. What, what, llama. Animal, what do you want? What animal llama. would you like to see? Comment what animal you would like us to buy here. But oh. bear in mind, ones you have to get licenses and shit for, we're probably not going to get. So just something that we can just go and buy immediately. What, yeah, like chicken and llama. Browns, Can we chicken. just go and buy a llama? Pretty sure you can. Are you fucking kidding me? So if we wanted to, we could get 400 llamas. <laughs> Yeah, can we do no, that? I don't know. If we can, if we're allowed to get you one need space, let's get we got 400. space. No, but just to to show how stupid that law is that you shouldn't be able to get that. Yeah, many but then llamas. I would want to look after them forever. Yeah, yeah no, I'd we'll make sure they don't die. We we'll make sure buy them and then look, like we'll, we'll just every night, every morning, I go to work. At least a hundred of them get out, and I got to rehearse no, we'll up and get them back. We'll in. just we'll just do it to show that it's silly that you can get 400 But then what do we do with them? Then we we sell them again. We give them away or we set them free in the wild like we did all those rats. We charge the walls. Okay, well, let's buy 400 llamas and send them free. That's a video. On the highway. We'll put them on the highway. Well, it's- They got options there. No, 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 no. (laughs) Maybe a couple. (laughs) Some of the slower ones. I reckon like it, yeah. We won't do that actually. Uh, We'll see. All right, next question is from D Coda. Oh, no. No, she's cool. She comments a lot. I like Dakota. Um, Matt, how have you been coping at the new house? How are the rats? We sort of just covered it just before, but there has been sightings. And they're massing. Uh, we're I working, believe they're massing. We're working on it. They, they, he, there's lots of poison around, I see, but I haven't seen any bodies. I think they're on to you and they're... Um, they're massing. What do you think that it's a turf war going up in the fucking ceiling at night, man? A rat <laughs> turf war or possums? Yeah, the possums and the rats are not getting along up there. Maybe, and they're, they're the maybe same they same animal. Don't trust anything, man. Anything with fur, you need to fuck to death. I work on it. <laughs> Next question is from Declan Rice. Um, how do you feel about ruining the word mince for people? I got asked <laughs> to go. I got asked to go get some mince from the shops. I couldn't explain why I was laughing so much. <laughs> I never. That's so good that that's 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 that. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, you, that's, that's, but that's you're that. right. Whenever someone says mince now, I, I, a smile creeps across my face yeah, and I picture too. Matt's cock exploding cooked mince I out of it. I haven't eaten mince for years, <laughs> but let alone since you saying the mince is connected to sperm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. But All right, next question that's is what from- it is. Next question is from Ricky. That's, that's, that's that. This is a good question. I'm glad somebody asked this because you guys are going to nail it. What is your favorite weapon in worms? Oh, yeah. I'm so okay. glad someone asked that. Now, dude. Oh, man. Holy nah, grail yeah. bombs holy got us off. But they were, they were good. Only when they were landed yeah, right. Yeah. I was so annoyed at Michael <laughs> when he fucked up the holy hand grenades. The banana bombs were good. The air strikes are good. Because yeah, oh. sometimes, okay, this is the best weapon on air, on worms. And for those of you who don't know what worms Armageddon is, you're probably like maybe just, just tune out for just a bit. Tune out for this is seconds. us in our element. So when there was like the perfect formation of worms, they'd be on like, they'd be well hidden, but they'd be clustered, but on the ends of things. So you order an airstrike and the airstrike would just kill like a whole team of worms in one go. Yeah, full worms. Even though they were well hidden. That to me was made all those sleepless nights worth it. Yeah. When you get like for one move, multiple kills of the yeah. full worms, it's good. Bunker busters. Very oh, crucial yeah. to use. <laughs> yeah, on the last dude. Second. Shotgun. Would, shotgun was shot, essential. You, you can chip them off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, holy I like baseball shit. bat. Yeah, yeah, baseball bat. Da, 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 and you, the super you know? sheep. My yeah. God, we would. Oh, control it. Yeah, you can fly, if you can fly and oh, yeah. and yeah, just really good shit. I don't think many people played Worms Armageddon, but like for the people that know what we're talking about right now, they they get it. Yeah, they're probably like sitting there in their chairs, just fucking nodding their heads, being like. Fuck yeah, cunt. Oh. Silly snack man, number one, the world number one. If he's watching, he, he knows. Is. He probably remembers the battles we had. We beat him a couple times. Yeah, we were disgusting when we spoke to him. We're like, dude, like, we've been like, we love your work, man. You're, like, you're so good. And we beat him. We beat and him a couple of times. He's like, yeah, the only reason I can be world number one is because like, my grandma died and I'm living off the million dollars she gave me from just the interest each yeah, year. So in the he, bank. Had, he got a million dollars inheritance and put it in a high interest bank account and lives off the interest so it never goes down. So all he does is just game and he got to world number one. And we and weren't that far behind him, fuck with. And we, were, we had jobs <laughs> and, to be had. And he dedicated his life to it and we only dedicated we beat our him. off time to it. <laughs> that was our off time. <laughs> anyway. Man, the worms days were fucking good. We should start streaming again. If we had <laughs> time, well, we should do the Twitch. I'll start the Twitch. You guys just bounce in every now and then. You have to Dude, wear clothes. Get it so. happening. Yeah. I want to say I would love that. Because right. worms, thank you. We were fucking good. Dude. We should get the Oi. creator of worms Give on. Me a hug about worms. <laughs> so, sorry. All right, we two, should get the creator on. Anyway, two more questions. Um, next question from Elfie Binion. Uh, science question: Is a tone of a fart due to the tightness and moisture at exit point? Question mark. <clears throat> Great question. The pitch changes of farts um, comes down to. So. I've explained this before. I'll explain it again. You pull your ass cheeks apart, right? With a relaxed asshole, your, your asshole will go from being very small to like, I don't know, 50 cents size, right? Then from that point, you tense your asshole so that it comes back down to a tight, like pea-sized hole, right? Then when you start farting, you can prolong or, or um, speed a fart up based on how relaxed your asshole is. So you can then like slowly open it as a fart comes out so that you can drag that sound out for ages. Does that make sense, Matt Brown? Yeah. Yeah. So I want everyone to go home and have a try at that, please. Practice in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Just bend over, pull your ass cheeks apart and have a go. That's the main thing. Just get out there and have have fun with it, everyone. Just go out there and have a fun time. Also use floors. Like you yeah, can use yeah. the floors. Yep, hundred. It's one of Michael's go-to's is to make the sound louder. Is to have Just half your asshole yeah, covered in 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 a hard surface. You can use walls, <laughs> and you can create like shit crystals on the wall. Michael used to rave about his shit crystals yeah, at high school. I've heard stories. He'd of shit come crystals. running up to us in the mornings. 
Oh so you'd God. see them. You'd see shit them. crystals. <laughs> uh, beautiful shit crystals all over the walls. <laughs> it's like the brown stain in the room. And he'd leave Bam. sheets of skin on the couch and he'd leave his long hair plastered all over the walls. Not the last one. So. God, your bedroom must have been interesting. Yeah, it was tiled. The last question <laughs> is from Arnold Sperling. Oh. Um, what's Michael's deal with the cold? He seems to cry every time he gets cold. It yeah. is like, okay, it's the thing that fucking hurts. I, I used I can, to be like that. I can take pain with other shit, but... The cold is just uncomfortable. Dude, I, I totally know what you mean. I used to hate. He can do it now. I now, can't. Now, since, now after like, because got real into Wim Hof, started doing the cold showers. Mm, now that's all I do, spot. cold showers. And now it's like, I spas are very bearable. But yeah, I used to be such a bitch with the cold. Swear for website videos, that's what I had to do. We did the, can deep heat make your warm, like your body warm enough? So this yeah. rubbing cream that warms your body up, then you it burns you put it all over our body and then we go into the ice bath and have it freezing cold while you're burning internally. What if yeah. there's I can't, a chemical I scream. Like great I, idea. I literally lose idea. control and I wonder if there was a chemical reaction there. It might not be good for you. It's so bad. Like even just ice baths in general suck. They hurt. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, that's questions. Man, I'm still getting off about the worm shit. We were fucking great. I'm glad that question came up. We were great at it, everyone. I was the executioner. He was the tactician. Fuck. We need to play Worms again. That's all, right. all I'm saying. Sorry. All right. What are we up to right now? What are we up to? We're, we're so far and we just need to do prank call and end it unless we check with Lockie one more time. All right. We try Lockie one more time. Then we do prank call. It's done. Yeah, fuck. I feel like everyone's going to be so annoyed if we don't have a line to Lockie. Look, we have to try around at least one more call. Right, we got to have we'll do the prank round. call and then we'll fly la la la. Yeah? And the prank call today, I'm going to call some animal line. They, um, you call them when you find like injured wildlife. Arnold Fine has a pet pig and it's not doing too well. He's not sure if that fits the criteria since it's a pet. Yeah. But he probably won't be very happy if it doesn't. And and his wife is sick. His wife is terribly ill, Brown. God, your lust-filled face. Licking your lips. Mmm, sweating. Hello? Fuck, you speaking with Hello, um, I have a uh, pick, uh, pick uh, in the backyard. Um, suddenly, uh, stop walk. Uh, it uh, vomit uh, the food I gave earlier and uh, it uh, close eye and look um, look like on track or something uh, I don't know it uh, flick around in the backyard uh, you come uh, with vet uh, pick up the pick or what happened now huh? it's a pig Yes, uh, maybe 80 kilo, na uh, you know, maybe 90 kilo a pig, fresh, fresh pig, uh, uh, fat, uh, nothing but um, healthy food. I give massage, <laughs> uh, good pig. Yeah, and it's your p pet pig? Yes, I have maybe five, seven uh, pig, uh -huh. and I sell, mm -hmm. I raise the pig, I uh, sell premium pig to a uh, butcher. And uh, this pig uh, nearly ready for sell, and uh, now on ground, uh, flick around. Uh, uh, my wife uh, sick. Uh, she cannot help. She stay in her room, and um, pig have a vomit on mm -hmm. its uh, chest uh, on leg. It uh, flick around. Yep. And what suburb are you in? I North Brisbane, uh, S Aspley. I have a small Aspley. pig farm. Uh, Arnold Fine Farm called Arnold Fine Farm you write that down Arnold Fine Farm uh, I have a sick pig you maybe come uh, take uh, care of pig cause I, I call a vet and um, he say to me uh, oh, you pay money uh, you come we pay money uh, I do not care for pig uh, health he do not care for pig health. He only care for money. So I think uh, maybe... Why not? 
Yeah, um, I do understand that. Unfortunately, oh, come on. Um, it's, yeah, unfortunately, it's just, no, yeah, no, not no, something no, that no, no. we personally tend to just okay. because we're not licensed. Okay, what, uh, what difference if I say, oh, hey, I, call, I hit dog with a car on street. Uh, what difference between dog on street and pig in uh, Arnold Fine backyard? Uh, same animal, uh, exactly the same yeah, animal? It's just because we don't have a license oh, to oh, serve the public, so we can't actually... Mm -hmm be a veterinarian okay okay but uh, if you find a kangaroo uh, with a bullet wound in a leg you take a kangaroo and you give to vet huh, huh? no so in in that case we have wildlife carers who okay, are like okay uh, the wild, wildlife care uh, vet uh, same thing same uh, exact uh, animal no so I'm it's not legally the same thing uh, um, so we're not able to help legal. you out here and and only a vet would be so, able to assist uh, so sort you of in say a to me which say to me uh, we not care about your pick uh, throwing up uh, the mince I feed it for dinner uh, oh, we not care about your sick pick we only care about a strange Australia animal that got hit by a car because a stupid uh, kangaroo on road or something huh? you say the kangaroo the no. stupid kangaroo is more important uh, than my family pick. <laughs> oh. No, I, I'm not saying that at, at all. And I wish we could help you. We just unfortunately well, can, uh, aren't licensed look, as look, a okay. public clinic to help you. Okay, listen here, uh, pussycat. What I need to say to you to make... Maybe I say to you, okay, not my pick. Maybe... Um, uh, I find pig on the road and uh, it vomit on my car, so I call you. Eh? Why don't I change uh, story? Uh, I say uh, the pig vomit on my car. Eh? You tell your uh, wildlife, wa 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 wildlife friend. Okay, you say uh, sick pig on uh, highway in North Brisbane. Uh, I send him out. Eh? Uh, no, in that case, we would probably send counsel oh, because okay. it's a domestic animal. Okay, so you say I call counsel, uh, counsel help, uh, you, but you know. They might, but because it's on your property, they probably won't. Look, it would have I, to not be on your uh, property. Right now, to I drag pick, I put uh, on a street in front, okay? Maybe I shouldn't say uh, my pick, okay? Maybe I find pick. A wild pick. Hmm? Uh, I start to uh, talk again. Hmm? It would then because because maybe then they wouldn't give your pig back to you if you're saying it's not your pig and then you say it is your pig. I love my pig. Okay, I prefer my pig to uh, be healthy. Okay, but with mm -hmm. someone else. Rasa then uh, die in my front yard, it uh, rolling around, uh, flicking a uh, vomit on the uh, hatches at front on mailbox, uh, flicking vomit on the windows. Uh, at Rasa the pig healthy with say of a pig die in backyard, uh, my sick wife uh, in bed, she uh, not even cooked dinner. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know about mm -hmm. uh, what to eat. I understand. I'm unfortunately not going to be able to assist you in this circumstance. Oh, unfortunately, please. a vet would be the only one able to get out there. I and yeah, it sounds like you've already spoken to one and they would indeed charge for their services. Uh, listen, uh, this, uh, this uh, corruption, uh, this corruption right through uh, or just you, snake. This uh, unbelievable. Uh, you say you love an uh, animal? Uh, my pick? My pick dying in my front yard! 
I we just can't legally assist you. Okay, then maybe illegally assist me, huh? My pick died. But vomit on the, the vomit on the sweater. Vomit on sweater. We wouldn't be able to break the law for that. You could get in contact with a vet. Sometimes they do um, payment plans if you're unable to afford the fee up front. Look, I take my pick to a Where are your headquarters? Well, we would not accept it. Okay, you tell that to me. I say maybe they do. Huh? Maybe you tell me where your headquarters are and maybe I show up huh? and maybe I convince maybe a more nicer staff that uh, my pig life more we valuable than you We just wouldn't be able to think. legally assist. Okay, that's what you think maybe, but I think maybe other staff see pig and say, more oh, pig so cute, uh, or oh, pig cute, uh, wearing a jumper, uh, little pig shoes uh, on the pig, or oh, maybe we look after illegally. Huh? Maybe uh, some people like that. It sounds that, very huh? cute and it sounds well yeah, kept It's a up very, clip, after, very cute but- pig, huh? Yes, we just would not be able to assist. Even if you did bring it here, we would unfortunately have okay, to turn okay. you away. So. Okay, or maybe you turn around, face your back to me, and I talk to someone else. Huh? Where are your headquarters? You tell me, or I Google. You could go ahead and Google it, yeah. Okay, you, maybe you save me time and tell me, huh? where are your headquarters, darling? Huh? Well, there would be no point... Because if you brought it here, we would not be able to assist in treatment okay, of it. Okay, so you deny so me information to help my pick, huh? You deny me information. Well, so now only do to. you say, I will not help your pick. Now you say to me, I refuse to tell information that will help a pick, huh? Ah, my pick a crush. My pick a crush. I'm not denying any information. I'm telling you we can't assist okay, in this. Maybe they I your headquarters. you huh? try and call around. It wouldn't matter because it doesn't matter where which building you go to, whether or not you talk to me over the phone or in person. The maybe, laws are still the same. You we only, don't have a license. You only staff to, there? Huh? You only staff there or more people? Huh? There's more people, but we all have the same. Uh, see, so maybe people. you turn around. Huh? You turn uh, your back to me and I uh, come with pig I have to drag it over the road because I cannot carry pig and it cannot walk but you do not um, you do not care about my pig so I take my pig I drag it to a front door it show up with jumper and small little pig shoe and I say to staff can you help me and, uh, we'll and they'll see. say no we so will sir, see. I'm really sorry but I'm gonna have to we will see huh? just Okay. Sort of let you go here. Okay. I'm not able to assist you any further. Okay. Look, I, have... um, I suggest you get into contact with a vet if you want treatment for your pig. It sounds pretty poorly, okay. and you would have to pay for vet treatment. You can try to talk to them about nothing. payment plans, but unfortunately, I we do not pay. have a license. I will never we pay for treatment of my pig. My pig making me money. I do not give a money for my pig. Okay, I come to your ah. Uh, Quarters with my pick and we will, and see we will turn happens. you away. Okay, so okay. I'm going to have to let you go okay. here now, sir. Okay, we will see what Best happens. of luck expect with you and your pig. Expect me and my pick and the next hour, darling. Okay, well, we'll see you soon. Okay, see you soon, right. darling. Turn your back, okay? Yeah, bye now. Okay, I'm all fine. I'm all fine. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's scary. I wonder if they're actually gonna expect a pig to show up. Where is your headquarters? You sounded like a villain from James Bond. Yeah, where, oh, what is your head? You merged that Arnold Fine into yeah into a villain from <laughs> James, James Bond. Bond. Oh my shit! Oh, whoever that was, you fucking handled that call beautifully. Well done. Oh yeah, thank very you patient. for being very, and very. There. Everyone else who's calling because the animals are legitimately dying. Sorry about that, but that was like, that was a good laugh. So <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> well, hey, yeah, I reckon that was one of my favorites. Arnold hard. Fine, I'd, I wish you were just I can't Arnold Fine. how long she was if on the you phone could just, If you were Arnold Fine for 90% of the day, I would just be like, okay. That was like a 10 minute prank call. Sorry about that. Sorry. He is a great guy. All I right. can't believe she stayed on the line for 10 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a long podcast. So. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, fucking Arnold Fine. Can you one night, on my next birthday, can you be Arnold Fine for 24 hours? 
<laughs> That's a yes in Arnold. <laughs> oh, no, that would be... Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. For three hours. All right. Okay, sweet. I'm down with that. All of our friends are going to get over that within 10 minutes. I want it. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> probably. <laughs> we'll fucking love it, dude. On my birthday for three hours. Be, like, no one will want to talk to me after the first half an hour. Then, I might just <laughs> no, be in that dude, or maybe... I will be having just straight up dnms with you just like sitting there like listening like it'd be like five centimeters away face contact oh, well, if that you've got to make a speech I would do it a speech for michael in arnold fine oh man very <laughs> very good man sorry anyway now guys. let's wait wait we got to quickly try this last lighter locky and then we can clang all right fuck it's 10 to 10 yeah, he's not going to... I don't think he'll answer right now either. It's we may as well try. Right, right, look, yeah, let's try. try. I'm going to disconnect from the Bluetooth. Yeah. Hello, is that is that you, Lachlan? Look, how you going, mate? Yeah, it's uh, Mick Hanley here from Eclipse NFTs. How you going? I won't, I, I won't take up any much more of your time. What was that, sorry? Did you wear panties today? Ah, yes, mate. You're probably looking at the NFT we've uh, wanted selected. Sorry, mate. I don't want to take any of your time. I hope you had a lovely dinner, but... um. I've actually yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> call him back. Let's call him back because that was Scotty, and they be, they think it's a fan or something. So the, we've lied to them. Yeah, okay, they've fallen we, we, for a lie. Yeah, yeah. Or should you call him on yours and go, "Hey, we yeah, just got that's you." Not a bad idea. That's better. Oh, did you step in? Hi. <laughs> Did you, did you just get a, like a call from a weird NFT dude? Oh, it's Martin. Martin. <laughs> I told you I could have done this. You can't. Lockie was like, oi. Lockie is like, oi, Scott. These guys have been just, this guy is trying to message me and say, and I said I'm at Denny and just try to call me twice. And it's some NFT dude. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, read the messages, kind of there's like, I was no, too, I was too no, high. it's got to be Marty. I was too high to talk on the phone. I was like, God, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw the no, no, wait. Did you think I it was like... I don't know who that cunt was on the phone. I yeah, just yeah. thought I was eating his mum's cunt. Yeah, did you did you think that was a, like a fan or something? <laughs> no, I was just going to put it off till tomorrow. I thought it was probably real. <laughs> We got you, cunt! We got you! You fell for our decoy earlier today. What? You don't think that we would think that Isla would be shit at acting and dumb. tell her to you smile are, while you're you talking so, to her? We so wanted Isla to fail so, so we could set this up and you fell you're for it, Loggy. You're very, very dumb. You are very dumb. Fuck. I don't mean to say dumb a lot. But you're very, very dumb. Still dumb. dumb. I, I, I was just putting up. I was like, I cannot deal with this right now. I was gonna. I was, just, I was like, can this cut like some fucking green <laughs> <laughs> All right, we I'm did it again. Yeah, we did it again. Successful, oh, dude. I feel like we and we, we did it. Live with this. I've got to live with this failing fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we did I it. Feel so, miserable. So, Loki, you admit that we we deceived you. You will. You felt like that was real. Yeah. Oh real. my god, we did it again, dude. That was the Misfit Minds boys. They're on the podcast, and we stayed late, especially just to talk to fuck with you, Lockie. So just Whose asshole was it? That was my asshole. <laughs> Can't there was shit in there, you filthy <laughs> fuck. You need to shave dude. or get Bosley no, 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 for once in a while. Seriously, I'm we're thinking about actually releasing like an asshole NFT project. It could be yeah, pretty big. Do you guys want to invest? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're keen, give us a bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, anyway, Fred, you got oh, Godfrey again. You got fucking done. You fucking fucking fuck with. I'll talk to you next week, dog shit. See you, mate. <laughs> next week. Oh, oh we, did we did it, boys. And we're the fucking best. best Cheers for coming best, on. We're the best. best. I, I think best, you did good at lying. Best. Best. Oh, best. Mate, you you said off camera best. that you thought you, that was we're unattractive how bad best. she He's was. Lying, we're, we're, we're the best. 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 Sorry.